What's up guys, welcome to a little update on our GPC team. This isn't going to be a very long video, I'm not going to go too in depth on uh, the reasons that I made these trades and whatnot because I don't want you guys to have to sit through a 20 minute video and I don't want to have to render for all eternity either uh, for the video. So we're just going to go through this really quickly. Uh, the first drop that we made was, we made three transactions by the way. We dropped Hippowdon, uh, Glorious, so I wanted to pick up something uh, that was a little bit speedier, uh, had a little bit more power behind it, had a better matchup against uh, a lot of the teams that look like they're going to be making playoffs, and I also wanted a Fairy check, so uh, something that I didn't really have before, uh, other than Klefki, which can't really hit back too hard, that's, that's the problem, and its speed tier doesn't allow it to... Um, to outspeed in most cases because you typically run it defensively. So um, we swapped out Glorious and I picked up a Poison type, uh, also a Rapid Spinner, also a Water type, and that's Scully, our Tentacruel, newest member of the team, uh, one of the three newest members. And uh, Tentacruel has a pretty cool ability in Liquid Ooze, so I can switch it into things like Giga Drain and Drain Punch. The opposing Pokemon will lose HP. This uh, awesome base 100 uh, speed is really cool. Uh, because I can fiddle around with it a little bit and have it outspeed certain walls. Uh, decent attack at 70. Uh, also decent at a special attack at 80. It has a really good special defense stat coupled with a decent HP stat at 80. Uh, allowing it to run things like Assault Vest with Mirror Coat. Uh, which is something that Blastoise could do. Uh, speaking of Blastoise, we also dropped that. I'm going to be getting to that in a second. I didn't want to keep a, uh, or have two Rapid Spinners, rather. Uh, we do have a Rapid Spinner and a Defogger now, so that's fine. So you can run uh, Tentacruel a lot of different ways. You can be very creative with this Pokemon. That's what I really like about it. Gets access to really cool coverage, uh, like Acid Spray, something that I didn't have before. Uh, Dazzling Gleam, another fairy move. We already got Mega Gardevoir, though. We don't need that. Another knockoff user, which is always good. Great getting rid of items. Uh, poison Jab, obviously one of its stabs, Sludge Wave and Sludge Bomb being the other ones, Acid Spray that I mentioned before. It's also a Toxic Spiker, which fits in perfectly with uh, my Spike Stacking Core of uh, what was Hippowdon, but now Yuxi and another Pokemon as Stealth Rockers, uh, and uh, Klefki as a Spiker. Now I have access to Toxic Spikes as well, which is cool. Uh, gets access to Swords Dance, which might be something to look into at some point. And just a really, really diverse moveset all around. I really like it. So that's uh, the first transaction that we made. Next one, like I mentioned, we dropped Blastoise. I didn't want to keep two water types and two uh, rapid spinners on the team. Um, Tentacruel is decently bulky as is, and uh, Blastoise doesn't get any recovery either. So they, as you can see, they have the same HP stat roughly, a 79 and 80. Um, Blastoise has a better defense stat. Uh, obviously, Tentacruel's is pretty mediocre at 65, but uh, Tentacruel actually has a better Spadef stat, so I could use it as a, a Spadef wall. I have a, a couple of decently good physical walls already, so I just really wanted a Poison type. So we got rid of uh, Blastoise, unfortunately, one of the original members and came to most games, uh, but I felt myself needing it less and less as time went on. Wanted to take a little bit more of an offensive approach, so we dropped this, and we picked up a... Mega Banet. Now, a lot of you are going to be asking, well, don't you have Mega Gardevoir already? I looked into the GPC rules a little bit, and there is nothing that restricts you from having more than one Mega on the same team, which I found really interesting. I wanted specifically a Spin Blocker, but also because I was dropping Blastoise and I wanted to pick up another certain Pokemon, um, I had room to move with my point values because Blast Blastoise is worth 7 points and I could have picked up regular Banette for 2 points but it would have been a waste. Uh, I wanted to grab Mega Banette because there's no reason not to. The only disadvantage is that I do have uh, to run the Mega Stone if I want to bring it but that's not a bad thing because Mega Banette's speed increases I believe. Um, I could be wrong about that. Hold on a second. Let's check that real quick. We got regular banana. Yeah, it goes up by 10. Its attack goes up by 50. Its defense goes up by 10. Its spadef goes up by 20. And its special attack goes up by 10. Now, a lot of people are saying that this thing is absolute trash. I disagree. And uh, let me tell you why. Because I have a lot of experience using this thing, uh, specifically on MV's spike stack team. Uh, this is Kagura, by the way. Our, our uh, Mega Banette. But um, I have a lot of experience using this thing. And because of its massive 165 base attack, Gardevoir has base 160 special attack. 
I now have two wall breaker megas, which is extremely scary to prep for because this thing on its own, like if you just look at its coverage, it gets gunk shot. So I can hit fairies really hard now with a combination of Tentacruel and Mega Banette. Uh, it also gets Cotton Guard, which I was thinking about the other day would be a really cool set to bring against something like a Mega Altaria. But um, yeah, anyway. Um, Prankster, really cool ability. We already have it with Klefki. Uh, it's awesome because it gets Prankster Destiny Bond. It gets Prankster Will-O-Wisp, uh, Prankster Thunder Wave, Prankster Confuse Ray. Like It gets access to so much priority, Sucker Punch, Shadow Sneak. Uh, there was something else, and I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. But uh, so just a really good moveset. And to back that up, it gets access to Shadow Claw, which is a high crit ratio move. Um, and it's, uh, it's its Ghost Stab, so that's really good. It's another knockoff user. I was lacking in that department, and now I picked up two of them. So that's really good. It uh, gets access to Foul Play, which could be useful. Uh, decent uh, special move pool, and it's, its special attack is definitely usable at 93. It gets access to Shadow Ball, uh, Dazzling Gleam that you guys saw up here. Just uh, a solid Pokemon, I think. Uh, and like I said, I don't have to run it as a Mega. And what's cool is that I can bring Mega Gardevoir and Mega Banette in the same game. Both have Mega Stones, and choose which one to Mega Evolve. I can only Mega Evolve once, of course, because that's just Pokemon for you. That's the rules of Pokemon, not even League format. But... I can choose which one I'm going to Mega Evolve based on team matchup if I want to do that specifically. So this is really cool. Uh, I really like this. It's not a, it's not the fastest Pokemon at base 75, but what, what like I was saying before, because of the increases in its defense, if you don't want to run speed on Mega Banette, look at this. It goes to 331. You can go max attack adamant, which puts it as a, at a ridiculous amount of attack. This is not even the right IV over here. Uh, 471, which is stupid. Uh, and it can take hits at 331 and like 202 down here, 186 here. It can definitely take hits. And because of the access to Sucker Punch uh, and Shadow Sneak, it doesn't really need the speed. Uh, only prior to Mega Evolution does it uh, kind of need its speed, but... After that, after you get that Mega off, everything becomes priority at that point. Like, everything that you have that is not an attacking move uh, is priority, and every and even some that are, like Sucker Punch and Shadow Sneak. Um, and it's a really cool Pursuit Trapper too, I didn't mention that, but I do have a Pursuit Trapper now for Psychic types, which is something that I had a hard time dealing with before. Gardevoir can have a difficult time breaking through a Calm Mind uh, setup. Uh, from things like Cresselia and Reuniclus, and Banette deals with that very well. So that's that's why I decided to get this, but the biggest thing was that I wanted a spin blocker because I want to play some mind games, and I want to have people prep in consequence for that. Uh, neither of my last two opponents uh, in the GPC, the one that you're going to be seeing later today, nor uh, our Week 11 opponent, have rapid spinners. But I want to be prepped for playoffs. I want to make sure that if I get into a playoff situation against somebody that does have a rapid spinner, I want to effectively be able to spin block them. Not everybody has a defogger. Rapid spin is considered to be better in league format because you're able to get rid of hazards only on your side. So Megabanet fills that role and it does a lot of other things at the same time, which is really cool. And it's just, it's mind games upon mind games. Uh, because of the fact that I now have two Megas on my team, and I don't believe anybody else has two Megas on their team. Uh, and I had confirmation as well that none of the seasons of the GBC has any team that did have two Megas on it bring both to the same game. But because of the nature of the Pokemon that I have, being Mega Gardevoir and Mega Banette, I could actually do that. I, I, can, I can afford to do that because uh, Gardevoir is still decently like it's it's good outside of its mega evolution because of the trace ability and synchronize as well like if i want to run a, a defensive gardevoir with wish protect i give it max hp max defense calm mind and moon blast i could do that like if that if that demolishes somebody's team i'm going to do that and i i can because i have the ability to one not mega evolve at turn 1 but two also run a different mega so that's just really cool. And the last transaction that I made, it was a Pokemon that I really wanted to get rid of because uh, it was a mistake that I made in our last transactions. Uh, and it's Electrode. I, I didn't find myself being able to bring this Pokemon ever, even against Lars, which was the intention, was to bring this thing against him uh, because it was faster than his 
um, than his Charizard, and it could it could basically outspeed his Halucha, uh, the Charizard. It had super effective coverage for the Slow King. Uh, that's what I wanted mainly, but Electro's special attack is really really bad. <laughs> it's 80. Now I know I said that uh, Tentacruel's was decent, uh, but Electrode it j it just doesn't go well with it because it it gets access to Thunderbolt. Yes. If you would see the pitiful amount of damage that that actually does to a Slow King and to a Charizard Y, you would cringe. Uh, I didn't want to run Thunder. It's a fast Taunter, but I have Taunters now. Like, I think even Tentacruel gets Taunt, doesn't it? No. Uh, but Banet does. It gets Priority Taunt, which is, uh, right? Am I, am I, yeah, okay, good. I'm right there. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> so, Electrode, um, not really doing it for me. Plus, I have a Zapdos already. I do have a fast Volt Switch or a fast Electric type. Uh, while Zapdos is typically confined to a defensive role, I have found myself bringing a lot of speed on it lately uh, to outspeed things that it otherwise wouldn't if it was more defensive. So that base 100 is just so nice. And Electrode's speed was something that I was going for because I didn't really, uh, outside of Mean Shao, I didn't really have anything base, above the base 100 and I just gave myself another one too. Uh, in the speed tiers and what we dropped Electrode for because uh, Blastoise was seven points and Mega Venet was five points I was able to pick up a ground type which we were we no longer have uh, thanks to dropping hip out on not the best ground type but it accomplishes a role that is really I, I feel crucial to a spike stacking team uh, in that it can wipe out a lot of um, of rapid spinners uh, and defoggers such as uh, Skuntank and and whatnot pretty much for free uh, and that Pokemon is Dugtrio. In the trap or Dugtrio uh, this thing is going to be on the thumbnail of the GPC uh, video uh, that you guys are going to see uh, the a week 10 battle that you guys are going to see again later today sorry about that um, and this thing is good for one reason and one reason only Arena Trap this is like this and shadow tag in my opinion and and magnet pool of course in my opinion are the worst abilities to deal with be it in league format or in standard smogon play or even wi-fi anything these abilities make it so hard for you to properly play because if you want to get a kill with your ground weak Pokemon and your opponent has a Doug Trio, you have to be conscious of the fact that you're about to lose that Pokemon and there's nothing you can do about it. It's it's gone. It's going to get earthquaked and it's going to get killed. And what's really cool about Doug Trio in league format is that you don't have to run max speed on it. Depending on the matchup, if I'm only against base 100s, I don't even have to go to 252. I can go to 212 and run an adamant nature, which gives it a little bit more power and the ability to actually knock out Pokemon that are uh, ground weak. And Dugtrio also gets, of course, access to Stone Edge and a uh, really cool move known as Reversal. If your HP, I believe, is below 10%, uh, this thing's base power is... I want to say 150, so it's a fighting move, and it gets access to that, and it's really cool because you can pa pair that with a Focus Sash, make sure you live. Uh, of course, you can see uh, Dugtrio's very bad defenses here. Uh, base 35 HP, which is just stupid. Um, 50 defense and 70 special defense, so it can definitely take a hit on the special side, which is cool. Um, to I mean, that's, that's putting it lightly. Um, if I do this and I do this, excuse me, there we go. I can attempt to switch in, like if I do this as well, sorry, if I do this, uh, I can attempt to switch in on a Mega Manectric, for example, uh, and make sure that I outspeed it on the following turn, and even if it goes for uh, Hidden, uh, Hidden Power Ice or Flamethrower, uh, with this kind of investment, I can potentially live, uh, and then just knock it out with an Earthquake, so there is that. Um, so you can play around with its EVs a little bit, but it's it's mostly here for trapping. It gets Memento too, which is really cool. Uh, that's very nice for catching things off guard. Uh, like let's say something wants to defog in front of you or rapid spin, uh, and you can't do anything about it. You can Memento, kill yourself, 
um, kill, well, Doug Trio kills itself, uh, lowers the stats, uh, the attack stat and the special attack stat of the opponent, of uh, the opposing Pokemon, and then you go into something that can actually knock it out and not give it a free spin or defog. So there's there's things like that. It's another Pokemon that gets access access to Sludge Bomb and Sludge Wave, but those don't matter because it doesn't have good special attack at all. It's base 50, uh, but it does get Sucker Punch. That's cool. Priority. Uh, it's another Sucker Punch user, so that's very nice. Uh, priority was something that I was heavily lacking on my team in general. Uh, I do have Entei uh, as a uh, an E-Speed Mon, but that's really all I have. And E-Speed isn't super reliable because Ghosts can switch in, Steel types can switch in, uh, Rock types can switch in extremely well on Entei. So um, having more priority is always a good thing. Sucker Punch is not the most reliable priority, but it still does the job. I said I didn't want this to be 20 minutes, but it is 15 minutes long. It, it is three transactions, though, so... That's, uh, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. That's, that pretty much explains it. I just wanted to make sure I got this video out before you guys saw the actual GPC match because I didn't want you not understanding why Duck Trio was there because it wasn't on the original team. If you do follow us and you know what our team is, more or less, uh, you're gonna be asking yourself why why do you have a Duck Trio all of a sudden. So these are the new Pokemon. We got Scully, the Tentacruel, Kagura, the Mega Banette, and in the trap are Doug Trio. So that's it, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to catch the GPC match at 12 uh, p.m. Eastern, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.